The Society of Conscious Thought has convened an inquest into the Kayanoki crisis in the isolated Postovin system in solitude aboard the H4RP4 Keepstar. Delegations from the four empires and independent capsuleers are already arriving at the facility, which opens formally in a few days' time. Deployments of advanced medical equipment, intelligence personnel and other assets indicate a significant effort by the empires to address the ongoing crisis, despite rising tensions across the cluster. The quarantine city of Murska, once home to 36 million citizens of the state, has been the epicentre of these rising tensions. After a sensational report by the scope appeared to show devastation and even violence in the city, there were angry recriminations by Federation senators, which forced the Galente administration to cancel bilateral talks with the Kaldari state. When unconfirmed leaks from the Federal Intelligence Office suggested that federal operatives were active illegally within the state, the chief executive panel announced partial closure of the Galente border. Under uncertain circumstances, a Quay freighter convoy then attempted to cross the border and was destroyed by state forces, further escalating the diplomatic dispute. The propaganda war has grown vicious, with some capsuleers joining Galente media in criticising the state's handling of the crisis. However, reports shared by civilians within Mirska suggest that even the citizens trapped there understand and support the need for quarantine. This message from a Home Guard officer stationed within the city was passed to the discourse earlier today. It's been hard. We knew it was going to be bad, but we trained for quarantines. It's just, we never expected it to be like this. Standard procedure says you isolate the city, biotech's airdrop in, and it's over in a month. This, we're still doing our jobs, but it's all pretty ad hoc now. Our vacuum rated gear works, we're pretty sure. But a single failure, a seal breaches, we might lose a platoon if we're lucky. We're holding together, but we're not heroes, it's not even for the state anymore, it's for the citizens. We're just doing our duty. Recent polling by Ngoigov shows widespread public support for the need to impose strict quarantine for a disease as contagious and deadly as Kiyonoki. The cause of these outbreaks remains unknown, though experts agree the disease has been spread deliberately. Galente nationalists have pointed the finger at the state, but responsible observers, including even the Federal Intelligence Office, believe the Kiyonoke outbreak to have been caused by an unknown party operating independently of state or federal institutions. Meanwhile, the situation aboard Astral Mining's RP4 platform remains unclear, with no official information on the survival rate of federal civilians. The Society of Conscious Thought is expected to mount expeditions to the platform in the coming days to verify the situation on board and secure fresh samples of the Kiyonoke pathogen for study in specially built facilities on the H4RP4 Keepstar. With the situation in the quarantine zones growing increasingly dire, the search for a vaccine or a cure has grown into one of the largest and most urgent scientific endeavours in recent history. Scientists, doctors and bioweapons experts from across the cluster are already arriving in Postovin, under tight security. One delegate told us this. Kionoke plague has been an unresolved uh, mystery for the state for decades. It is extremely dangerous, as we have already seen. It only takes one person to infect a city with a population of 36 million people. The inquest is a golden opportunity for us to exchange knowledge and work out a solution to the crisis. My colleagues and I are looking forward to work with the brightest minds of our cluster. All eyes now turn to the H4 TAC RP4 Keepstar. As scientists race for a cure and investigators search for evidence that might suggest a culprit, Capsuleer delegates will play a vital role in deciding how best to combat the disease, with the fates of millions or perhaps billions in their hands. The Discourse will be reporting live from the inquest and posting updates on Galnet at Arataka Research. This is Eleonori Roden and Cerulean Voth in Postovin reporting for the Discourse.